welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be talking about interfacing bag interfacing or stabilizer some people also call it padding no matter what you call it the purpose is the same is to make your bag maybe firm or give it a particular structure give it the structure you want and that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video i'm going to be giving you a secret on how your bag looks to your customer in relation to interfacing your interfacing can definitely make your bag look shabby and it can also make it look very very elegant classy and luxurious so i will be giving you a secret at the end of this video so stick around till the end that being said let's dive right into it the type of interfacing you use can either give your bag a firm look it can give your bag a sturdy look it can give your bag a sluggy look like like as if it's like really soft and all and it can make your bag look very hard no matter what you're going for you need to know the kind of interfacing you should be using you don't want to go use an interfacing that is meant for soft and sluggy bag for a bag that should be firm your bag is just going to look like like you've wasted your whole time you don't want to do that the kind of interfacing you use can either make your bag look sluggy or firm like i mentioned earlier also the type of interfacing you use can affect your stitches it can make the stitches straight or it can make it rough depending on on either you're using the right interfacing for that bag or not for example you um you want to make a sluggy bag let's say and you use a very hard interfacing in that case your stitches might be very very rough or maybe you are getting the interfacing into the stitches when it's not supposed to be because the interfacing is too thick or or something like that it can make your stitches very rough that's why you should know the exact type of interfacing you should be using for your bag the material you choose also determine the type of interfacing you should use for example if you're using like cotton fabric or ankara fabric you might want to interface first with with a stabilizer maybe like woven interfacing or soft stay it depends on what you understand it to be but what i'm trying to say is you might want to interface your fabric um your cotton fabric or your ankara fabric with a light very light stabilizer to make it you know because it's cloth it's not like leather you might want to put some stabilizer to make it stay you know to make it firm so i have these two examples these are um ankara fabric similar to any cutting fabric that you want you might want to use so on this one you can see this is actually a lot firm than the way this look so I use foam to stabilize this before going in with my Mako. Mako is equivalent to Decoval Heavy. So I went in with my foam first. Then I realized that it was really too hard to manage because, because it's, it's not leather. It's, it's cloth, it's Ankara and it's just very, very hard for me to work with. When I was making the second one, I decided to use soft tape instead which is equivalent to your woven interfacing your light woven interfacing so that was what i used on this one so it make it thick it make it look like it's a leather you know it's not like it's it's not like it's automatically converted to a leather no but it gave it that firm firmness of a leather and it was a lot easier to work with than this one i still can't decide which one i like better but this one was certainly easier to do than this of course because of the choice of my interfacing that's why you should know your interfacing and know what you should be using when you're working with your bag so if you're going to quit your bag if you're going to give it some matting like something like this one the stitches on the body you definitely know that you have to interface it with foam because the foam will give you the, the, the puffy the puffiness or the puffy look now you know if you're doing this matting or quitting now and there's no foam inside it's not going to puff outside okay let me use another example this is also quitted and you can see that it's, it's not as flat 
as the ordinary leather should be just look at the side the side is very flat very flat on on, on it but the places i have quitted you can see that it's puffy and that's because i went in with my foam i actually quitted the foam with it that gave me the puffy look so to my promise i said i was going to tell you a secret about interfacing and bags right here is the secret it's foam i know foam just foam yes that's the secret if you want to have a elegant look or an expensive look now use foam use foam before you use your main interfacing especially for structured bag if you're working with a structured bag i am sure you you are already thinking what i'm thinking that you want to use a very stiff interfacing right that's that's what it should be because it's stiff bag anyways you should be using your deco bag every or your peltes or your carry board or your marco depending on depending on what you have available or depending on how firm or how thick you want it to be you can also use your leather board for sure but you know when you use foam before using that it's going to give you this really elegant look and again it depends on what you're going for but for example let me show you this i showed you these two earlier right and to be honest i mean if you are seeing the bag physically you know that this this has some like softness to it and and that softness it's it just make it look much better than this one right and you might not notice that in the camera but definitely this one looks better than this one and that's because i use foam on this one maybe next time what i should have done is interface the the ankara to stabilize it now stabilize the ankara with woven interfacing or stay or very soft stay so that it can it won't be like giving me a problem while sewing then interface it with foam again before now using my marco or any other thick interfacing to make it like this thick so that that is exactly what i meant by using foam to give you the um better look like this bag i've used um a very stiff interface i used carry board and of course it's stiff and it's nice i know thank you thank you <laughs> i know the bag is very nice however it would have given me a better look if i use foam on this bag before going in with my carry board that's what i meant when i said um using foam will definitely give you a more luxurious look and yes if you want me to make an example of this one with foam before using the carry board let me know in the comment section so we have different type of interfaces and they are basically divided into two no matter how much they are they are the soft interfacing or the light interfacing or thin interfacing versus the firm sturdy structured or hard interfacing no matter what word you want to use the whole point is soft interfacing and hard interfacing and the ones that fall into the hard or firm interfacings are the carry board the macro the um we have decover heavy we have peltex our leather board we have several several stiff interfaces and it depends on the country your country it depends on your location just know your know the name they use for it in your location and know that when you when you when you want a structured bag you go for a structured interfacing of course that's definitely what you should be doing however knowing the structured interfacing versus using it for structured bag is not enough because there are several structured interfacing for example in nigeria we have marco we have um we have carry board we have other structured interfacing actually but several ones will give you different different ones will give you different look for your bag so know what look you are going for I know the kind of interfacing you should be using and for the soft ones we have woven woven interfacing we have fusible fleece we have um stay we have light stay we have hard stay so there are several type of interfacings what is important is for you to know your interfacing and know what 
they look like what they are called in your country and of course to know which to use for which bag to achieve a particular certain look that you want so guys we have come to the end of the video do let me know where you're watching from in the comment section and if you have learned anything from this video you can share it with other bag maker friends that you have that you think can benefit from this i would also like to know the name of interfacing in your country what they are called and how they look you know you can describe them in the comment section i will be reading thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video